If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, guys, with Cantona, we are going to be reviewing him on two different accounts. So you'll see like two different squads because obviously we got to do some thorough testing with these bad boys. Uh, with Cantona, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, high medium work rates, five star skills, four star weak foot, uh, right footed controlled player. This card, guys, is working with the chip shot plus, a finesse shot, a power shot, incisive pass, technical plus, quick step, Tree Vela, Flare, First Touch, as well as the Acrobatic in-game attributes. Uh, this card is, in my opinion, formatted for the Hunter chemistry style. For some of this gameplay, you're actually going to notice me using him on a basic, which is really good to use him on a basic, for the sake of the testing, right? Because on the basic chemistry style, the card is going to look like this, right? This is when I switched to the second account. Um, so on the basic chemistry style, you could see where he's getting improved, where he's not getting improved. So it's kind of important to even see that, to be honest, right? But I think the most obvious situation with this card is going to be to use him on a Hunter chemistry style because increasing his pace to be as high as possible, as well as his shooting, is going to be the most ideal spot for him, right? Passing on the card is going to be on a good area. Remember, this card has some passing at play styles as well. Uh, well, as well, excuse me. Incisive pass. Uh, is a really nice one to work with. And then obviously just has like the general stats that are um, really well positioned and stuff too, right? He's got Trivella, Quick Step, um, you know, a lot of very interesting play styles for the most part. Dribbling is going to be a key thing to try out. I'm almost certain he's going to be very physical oriented because he has been in the past. So I don't expect that to change even with the basic. We're going to obviously see that as well, right? Um, and then he also has some pretty good physical stats for base card stats, right? The physical stuff is definitely a very nice thing to work with as well for him. So, uh, yeah, with this card, guys, it'll be a little bit of footage of an older formation, but I'm also trying out a newer formation for the sake of the YouTube channel, because once we do a tactic video, we move on to the next one for the sake of YouTube, right? But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try this card out in the main attacking positions up top and we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh my god, I mistimed it. I miss time. I have to say though, okay, I miss time it because he does have a very physical feel to his dribbling, okay? Because it takes it takes a while, but I have to get used to it, right? Sometimes you get used to like the more agile players that just kind of hit them, you know? Good build up play. Have to wait for the small little touches there. Nice. Good run, good run. Oh, we're good. Oh, I got the little touch there and then the Elasco, but it didn't work out. Oh, man. I had to try it, dude. I had to try it. He has the trait. Ah, I tried. Gave it an effort. Gave it an effort. Ooh, nice try. Nice try. I got the header on it. If that actually registered the Cantona there, I would have been in such a good spot. Attacker advantage? Uh, I try it, you never know. Nice. 
No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's got the gem. No. No, I was trying to go for a Trivella, didn't even register it. There it is. There it is. One more touch. Oh, I should pass it probably. I try to like flick it back. I should have just shot it right away because Canton is going to have more of that physical feel behind him, right? I thought he was going to score that. I was like, that doesn't even, that doesn't even look right. <laughs> oh, give me that. There you go. Oh, I tried. I tried. Probably should have done the other skill move, to be honest. White times we still score. Good stuff. Oh, I use his physical at least to kind of like block him off there, but no chance. Nice. See, that's a little situation right there where you kind of have to utilize the technical a lot to compensate for the dribbling, right? So I'm, I'm using it, letting it go, using it, letting it go, you know? Ah, I, I, I was trying to get that uh, pass and first time strike right after. Ooh, very close. Oh, I thought if I got the green, it'd be perfect there, but unlucky. Nice. There it is. Good finish. It's funny, I actually still left him on the basic for this account. <laughs> Still on the basic for this one. Go back. Nice. I utilize the skills whenever I can there. No, it has to be a green, man. A green or I have to give him that hunter because I forgot it. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, you get, definitely got to give him that hunter, that's for sure. <laughs> definitely got to do that to him. Oh man, I try to do like the extra dribbles. I don't even know if he knows I'm gonna do that. I think the AI just kind of like tracks it the whole time, you know? Hard to say, but. 
Ah, uh, I didn't time that one correctly, that's for sure. A little bit of the technicals, there you go, a little shield. I do that a lot with him for sure. Gotta get that green on it. Ah, you know what? It's it's actually a good thing that we're trying him on the basic because when people are like, "Oh, like why don't you just give him an engine?" Because if your shooting is low, like I, it just doesn't it doesn't make sense. Like I, I don't even talk about it in the reviews. Like oh, like this is a possibility because bro, if you're spending this much money on the, these cards, like you need to you need to some chemistry style. You just need to give them. Like sure, you can score with lower finishing, but first of all, you got to green it, and then second of all, like if if you don't time it correctly, like you need a regular strike to work out. You know. Let's have the jam there to get it back. There it is. Nicely done. Guys, listen, man. I know he has a chip shot tray, but like, we got to be honest. You got to get into like certain situations where it's like, okay, cool. Like, I'll chip it. But most of the meta, because of that park the bus stuff, you know, players always on that defensive line that I told you guys about all the time, right? It's hard to get a chip shot off, right? Like, it has to be like an obvious counterattack and stuff like that, right? Oh, I should... Oh, yeah, I had to do some extra stuff there because he was doing the AI stuff. I have to, like, force some animations and stuff, you know? Oh my goodness gracious, man. Ah, oh, lucky man, because he gets saved by the AI! He's a good law pass. Let's go, Cantona. Let's go, my boy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ah. He gets, you know what I don't like in this game, and they're, like this is like this is something that EA. Oh, I, I explain that many stuff I don't like, but you know what I don't like when I'm gonna get an obvious header, but no one shows support to me. I hate that, dude. That's laziness when it comes to AI. It's like, oh, let, let me show support for a header that I might win. Nothing. Oh, almost got the gem there. Oh, dude, I, just, I need that pass to work in a way where I could just touch the ball and finesse it. And all of it is just wrong, man. Oh, he does get the jam, though. Oh, he gets that challenge, though. Oh, I'm trying to block that passing angle. Ah, he's going to follow me the whole time there, man. Ah, 
Oh, yeah, I knew it was going to be emphasized. That's why I was like, I don't know. Oh, touch it, man. I almost got a chip shot with the header there. That's funny. You better win that. Oh, I should have passed it one more time there, man. There it is. There it is. Nice. Why did I finesse it? Why do I even bother to do that inside 18, bro? Without the plus. I don't know why. I'm stupid. Uh, I probably should just pass it right away or something else. Oh, I think he moved it, bro. <laughs> Dang it, bro. Yes. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, I should have... I don't know. I gotta do something else there. Way too close. It's way too uh, close to the other guy to do that. Oh! And it goes in. It goes in. See, that's where it's nice, is sometimes it actually forces an animation out of the goalkeeper. I'm not even joking. Like, it does. That's where it's nice, bro. This defensive line, you see this right here? Like, you're not gonna use a chip shot there. Like, you have to go back, build it up again, you know? There it is. There it is. See? Close? Uh, there's no, like, oh, in that situation there, if I do a skill move, like, you know how you, I usually do that, uh, that new, that one. You see that skill move I just did right there? If I, a lot of times I want to pass a goalkeeper, I'll do that specific skill move, right? But when you're really close to it, I'm telling you that it does actually force animation. Like right here, I don't have time to do a skill move. Like if I do a ball roll, it's not going to work out. So the last ditch effort that I have is to do a chip shot because it'll force the animation out of the goalkeeper and you might get lucky and actually score, right? It's an underrated play style, but it just depends on the situation, right? Like I said, it has to be really, really close. Oh, man. Need that layoff pass to be a little bit quicker there. There it is. So, I mean, you could see right away that he's physical, right? Like with the animations and stuff. That's oh, That was always going to be a thing with him for sure. All right. One little touch, get that green for the tree Vela. Good finish. Oh, I 
tried my best to get that green, man. I tried, boys. No! I do it for the lols, man, but like, it has to be like a very obvious chip, you know? Definitely should be shooting that for sure. Nice law pass. Go back if you can. There you go. Go back again. Oh, emphasis on the dribble there. I do this. Hold on, hold on. It's not registering. There we go. Typical, typical. And then bang. Didn't get the green on it. White timed, he still scores. We'll take it. Oh, I just wanted to try the strike there. See how it would come off. No, not directly to the side. Trivell needs to be a little bit more different there for the uh, for the right angle for it to really hit it across. And finish. Yeah, typical, typical. Typical meta stuff. Oh, I had to, you know what? I should have tried the green there. But that's why you shoot, man, because sometimes you'll actually get the ball. You don't even expect it. He missed that one? No way. On the green? I thought he was going to hit that. Oh, I missed time that he still scored. Nice finish. Good finish, good finish. Ooh! Oh, that green would have been it right there, I think, bro. Yeah, he's got a nice dip on him, eh? I had specific strikes. I feel like he can actually score them. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Eric Cantona SPC card. So, guys, first and foremost, when it comes down to this card, right? At the end of the day, he does have a very physical side when it comes down to his left stick dribbling specifically, right? That's why for a card like this, giving him technical plus is essentially that gameplay compensator and then also giving him the five star skill moves is that gameplay compensator as well so left stick wise yes he is very physical oriented when it comes down to that it was actually a good thing that at some point in the review when i switched to the other account because i needed more footage right uh we had him on a basic right and look at the basic guys the basic gives him the dribbling stats it gives him the shot power but no finishing right I'm going to tell you this right now, that even if the dribbling has been improved with this, you know, you can go in the direction of giving him an engine chemistry style. I just think that none of that makes sense. This card, in my opinion, plays to his maximum capabilities when you give him a hunter chemistry style. Now, guys, very key thing to mention here, okay, when it comes to the dribbling of this card. So even though he has a very physical side to his dribbling, right, this card still does pretty well in this game, right? People who do not want to deal with that physical side of the dribbling at all, understandable, right? Some people want to go for like the top tier meta players that have like better left stick. I completely understand. 
but this card still performs well in game. First of all, the shooting came off pretty nicely. Not necessarily like the long distance strikes on a consistent basis because, you know, he's a taller player, more physical, like... To be fair, I haven't really used many physical dudes outside the 18-yard box that can hit, like, those finesse shots on a consistent. Like, you need, like, a Correa to go outside the 18 because he's smaller, center of gravity is lower with 99 shooting to, like, really hit those bad boys on a consistent basis. But he can still hit them, right? But it was inside the 18-yard box where I felt like his shooting was actually really, really nice to utilize, right? Uh, left foot, right foot when I gave him the Hunter, okay? Key thing to mention here, because if people want to go down the route of giving him an engine chemistry style for a car that's 1.4 million coins, that's up to you, honestly. I don't recommend it, because for me, the Hunter felt good, because on the Hunter, his pace was even, wasn't even was even that bad to work with too, right? He's not going to be like one of those types of players that when he's through on goal, he's really through on goal, right? But the pace was actually pretty decent. Like I was even able to do like some defensive plays of him catching up to people because he has the pace to work with the physical to kind of get into those uh, scenarios for himself, right? But when I gave him the Hunter, the shooting definitely came off very nicely, right? Um, the attacking AI I like. Listen, guys, uh, I use this card for the RTG account in the beginning of the when I when we first started the RTG account as like the first owner stuff because I got his like loan card right and this card was actually doing pretty well for me in game and to be honest if you choose to unlock a card like this because you don't mind that left stick dribbling side of the game for a more physical oriented player like this he still does really well in the meta of the gameplay okay make sure you look at the abbreviation of the top left for champs and rivals rivals is more for me to spe specifically try out some shooting animations but champs is like playing regularly and seeing like how his movement is what kind of goal scoring opportunities i can get myself into the only thing i will say is that when you get inside the 18 yard box and you do that like extra pass and you have to do that first time touch with him stuff like that that's where he's going to be a little bit rough because again that left stick is going to add more of a thing, that physical thing on the ball, right? 100%. But if you can get past that, all right, the card still performs really well in game, right? If I was rich and I was collecting a bunch of different players and I use this card in the striker position, more specifically in the right-hand side because of him not having the five-star weak foot, I still think he performs really well, right? The goals that I was able to score a lot of the times was because I had the skill moves and it was because I had the technical plus. And again, the attacking AI of the card to get into certain situations to score was really nice because when I gave him the Hunter, even like that one opportunity where I made that pass to him, where you can, where you can see the gameplay being sluggish, like his turnaround strike even came off really nicely too. So the card is still pretty good in game. It's kind of like a similar situation to Socrates, right? Like Socrates, physical type attacker. If you enjoy, if you don't mind using those types of players, he's still going to do well in the meta of the gameplay, right? With Cantona, very similar situation. But again, with both cards, for the types of players that they are, they still perform really well in game. Like, I, I still enjoy using Cantona. Like, and for me, I'm not like big on like the left stick dribblings being like this, especially with the way that gameplay is now. But again, if you can move past that, giving him a hunter to work with good pace, good shooting, and good physical. The physical more so like when you're kind of like past someone to, to kind of, you know, go for your goal scoring opportunities. Not necessarily like for the first touch to lay off because... If they're more emphasized, defenders can kind of get the ball a little bit easily because of the gameplay. But guys, another thing another thing to like mention that's really important is that after this patch, EA has made most of these players left stick really chalked, right? Like you need like high end or specific left stick dribblers like uh, like a team of the year Messi and stuff like that to like really compensate. So because they all feel like that anyways, you can still work with this card. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. But I enjoyed it, man. I, like, if you guys watch the gameplay highlights, like, he actually was able to score opportunities for me, and he clutched up for me in certain opportunities as well. So, one of those ones, guys. One of those ones. I, I, I'm i not against the like-to-dislike ratio entirely, but like I said, this card's actually pretty good in-game, right? If you enjoy using these types of players. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.